Hi ladies, Dr. Melody here with Fit Plus Faith. I had a in really intense message that I felt I needed to share with you today. And being the first of December, it kind of is just fitting too, because new months I think are always awesome and they give us new beginnings. But I mean, this message is relevant regardless of whether it's the beginning of something new or a new month or whatever, this is valid for every day. But I just felt it was so important to share with you. It was just a message laid on my heart. And it's all about love. So when we, it's like the problem that we begin to have when we are struggling with any area of our life, um, but specifically when we're struggling with personal development or self-care or um, self-improvement, these types of things, I really wanted to encourage you that if you were able to tap into the amount of unconditional love that God has for you, unconditional love that God has for you, if you really, really allow that to wash over you and to sink in, to sink into your heart and to sink into your mind and to sink into your thoughts, they will literally transform your actions and whatever it is that you need to do to be moving forward with a completely different perspective and motivation than anything you've ever done before. And I feel like there is many times where we are getting stuck because we are pushing and pushing and pushing and forcing ourselves to do certain things and to um, deprive ourselves in certain ways and beating ourselves down in our heads and really being super negative about our self image and about our actions that we've been doing. And if we've messed up, then we have failed and therefore we are not worthy. And we, it's literally this cycle of degradation because we are doing everything in our own power. We're trying to convince ourselves of our own actions and of what we need to do to get to where we need to go. But we're literally in this like battle, this like grit and grime and just pull up your bootstraps and go. And every day we feel like we have to muster all of this just to force ourselves to take the next step and to not give up and to make ourselves do the things that we think we should be doing. Um, but if we don't, or if we give in, then it's like this negative bashing of, you know, we're never going to get there and it's way too difficult and I'm always struggling and, I just can't do it, and what's wrong with me, and I'm just so unhappy, and I hate my reflection, and I don't like, you know, any of this, like, it just, this cycle just goes, and then it goes every single day like this, and you might make some progress, but it's so much more difficult than it ever has to be. So what I really wanted to share with you today, and I really felt like you need to know and you need to get into this other way of seeing yourself and of seeing your goals and of seeing your worth and of seeing how much you are loved, that that will make all the difference. And I think so often we get away from that and we forget how powerful and how transformational God's love is and can be in our lives. 
And it's like, God loves me. Yes, you know, I know this. And, you know, I read my Bible here and there. And I know that ultimately God accepts me and loves me. But that's just lip service. It's like, okay, I want you to think back. Think about when you have been in love, like in the honeymoon stage of love. So whether this was like, a boyfriend or whether this was um, when you were first newly married or whatever. Think back when you were literally in the beginning stages where you had butterflies in your stomach all the time and it's like this person just really loves me and I love them and I can't spend enough time with them and I feel amazing in their presence and they make me feel so amazing and I can do no wrong in their eyes and everything is amazing and perfect. This is like the state that your mind is in. Because you are overwhelmed with the feelings of love. And there's, of course, a huge range of feelings of love. Absolutely. But I want you specifically just to think back to that specific time. And it might have happened a few times over your life where you're literally like, oh my gosh. And if you think about it, when you're like in that like heightened state, you don't even want to eat, you know, like you, it's easy. A lot of people lose weight in the beginning when they're like first getting in love because you're just like hyper and excited and like a little bit nervous all the time. And, um, and so the body just like doesn't even want or need any of these extra things because it doesn't need to be filled up in that way by food anymore. It's just like everything is exciting and happy and I barely need to eat anything and I'm on cloud nine and off we go. And I'm not saying that getting yourself into this state of love is going to solve your issues of not eating as much. (laughs) That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, I want you to realize that those initial feelings that you had in those feelings of, of excitement and of like this initial feelings of just like, supreme joy and love because you were in this new blossoming relationship, get yourself back to that level. Feel what that feels like. Remember what that feels like. And now realize that God has that same amount of love for you right now. Can you even allow yourself to believe that? And if you did, How would that literally change what you are doing, what you are thinking, how you are feeling, how you're looking at the world, how you're looking at yourself, how you're looking at other people, how you're looking at love in general? So I really want you, if you are struggling and you're feeling like you are going up a hill and you're constantly pushing and it's always hard and you don't know if you ever get there, and my goodness, it's taking me forever to lose this weight and to get these habits and to make these changes and everything is so frustrating, but I know I should do it, so I'm going to keep on grinding and I'm going to keep on going, but man, it's a hard uphill battle. If you're constantly feeling like that, then yeah, it is a really hard battle. And I feel for you. I don't want you to feel that way. It doesn't have to be that way. That's the thing. So if you realize that right now in your current state, no matter what you look like, no matter what you wear, no matter what you weigh, no matter um, anything in your life whatsoever, God looks at you and says, I love you. I'm so madly in love with you. I think you're so amazing. You could do no wrong. I love you no matter what. I love you no matter what your past. I love you no matter where you want to go. I love you no matter what changes you want to make. I love you if you stay the same and never change at all. You don't have to because I love you. If you allow yourself to realize the reality right now that God loves you that much, regardless if you never change at all, and regardless of what you've never ever done and what you could ever ever do, that will not change. I really want you to let that sink in because I feel like for so many people, that is literally the missing link to help you go where you want to go. Because if we are not allowing, we're blocking off that level of love and acceptance. Hi, Stephanie. Oh my gosh, you're so welcome. I woke up this morning and I was like, I have this 
I have this message that has to be shared today. And this is the message that has to be shared every day. But today specifically, I was like, I, I have to get this out. And because this is the missing link, God's love is so amazing, so abundant, so unconditional, so beyond what we can even attempt to experience as a human. But yet we've had glimpses of experiencing it. We've had glimpses of moments where we feel overwhelmed with joy. We have glimpses of moments where we're beginning to fall in love with someone and it is so beautiful and it's so amazing and we we don't ever want it to end. But get this, it doesn't have to end. God doesn't make it end in his love for you. So it's only in our own feelings and in our own allowing of that to dim away that that's where we lose it. But God never has ever lost and never will lose his intensity of complete and utter love and acceptance for you. <clears throat> and we forget that. And we go through life struggling and doing whatever we can and pulling ourselves up by our bootstraps and making ourselves do X, Y, and Z. It doesn't feel effortless. It doesn't feel easy. It doesn't feel in flow. It doesn't feel like we like it. We're just doing it because we are feeling like that's what we have to do. And we are partly sometimes punishing ourselves for allowing ourselves to get to a place where we're not happy. But you have to know that God has never stopped loving you and doesn't stop loving you in your current state right now. And if you can get to that point of self-love and acceptance, of allowing God to love you that much because he does, but are you allowing it? So if you open your heart and mind and say, oh my goodness, I'm going to allow myself to receive this amount of love. Not only is that literally transformative for your current situation right now, but it's like that's the missing link for all areas of your life, not just your health and your weight and whatever you're wanting to do for moving forward in your own personal health. That can be a huge key. But it's for every single area of your life to allow yourself to be loved that much that you need to do nothing, that you don't have to do anything, that there's nothing else that you need to do right now to deserve that amount of love. And how would your life be different? How would your day-by-day -day actions and feelings and steps forward to create whatever you're wanting to do, to move forward in new health, in weight loss, in self-acceptance, in self-esteem, in being able to love others, in able to allow others to love you when you might block it because you don't feel like you're worthy of that amount of love. How absolutely different could every area of your life be if you would allow yourself to realize the absolute beyond anything we could ever comprehend amount of love that God has for you every single moment of your life right now in this moment. His love doesn't dim down like our love does. The honeymoon period of love that we have experienced in life that eventually calms down and goes away and gets, you know, revved up every once in a while, that never goes away with God. And I don't think we have realized or tapped into accepting that that is actually true, that he actually is madly in love with you regardless of how you view yourself, regardless of how you look, what you weigh, what you do, nothing. And if you allowed that in and fully said, I cannot believe that I could be loved that much, that I don't have to do anything to deserve it, how would that radically change you from the inside to effortlessly help you 
change whatever you wanted to for you because you know now that you don't have to do any of this to please anyone or to be worthy of love from God. And he is the ultimate lover that we need in our lives. That his love surpasses any other love that any other human can give us, even in their best attempts. If you allowed yourself to be loved at that deep of level, can you feel that in your heart, in your stomach at all right now? That's where I feel it. To be like, holy crap, God loves me this much. I don't have to do anything for it. I can just be me. I can just be me. And if I choose to make steps forward in my health, in my life, in my relationships, in my walk with God, that's all for the better for me, but that does not make God happier or love me more or love me less. It's all now surrounded by love, everything I do. So anything I choose to do for me, for the betterment of my current state, is because I want to and because I'm happy to and because I am driven to want to improve for myself, not because it's going to change God's love for me right now. (sighs) So I feel like that's what I wanted to share with you today. And I want that to sink in, like rewind and watch this multiple times if you need to. But ultimately, take the time Spend some one-on-one time with God. Get real about can you really accept that amount of love? Can you really allow yourself to receive that amount of love? And be honest about it. And if you feel like you can't, like it's almost too big that you can't even believe it, you can't even fully understand it, you don't know what to do with it, then be honest with God and let him know and let him help you break down those walls and barriers then that seem like they have been stopping you from fully receiving the full amount of love and acceptance over and above anything you've ever experienced in your life that is available to you right now in this moment, in any moment. So be honest with God. Take some time and pray and be honest with how you feel. Can you accept that? Can you allow that? Can you receive that? And then if you can, and when you do, see how that begins to change. Every single thought that you have, every single motivation that you have, every single drive and desire that you have to do whatever it is you do in the world, whoever it is you're around, whoever you come in contact with, your family, your own choices, how does that change when it comes from a completely different perspective that you don't have to do anything to be worthy of and deserve love at that level, that unconditional level. Would you be doing what you're doing right now? Would you be sabotaging yourself the way that you're sabotaging yourself right now? Would you be beating yourself up mentally every day the way you are right now? You wouldn't need to do any of those things and you won't need to when you fully finally allow yourself to accept and receive that amount of love in your life. So that is the ultimate message today. Take some time today, this weekend, and sit with that and really examine, are you fully allowing that in? And how would things be different? And they will be different naturally. It will happen naturally. It's not anything you will need to force. It's like, all of a sudden, I want to do X, Y, and Z because it's for me and it will make me feel good and it will support me, not because I feel like I have to deserve anything or I have to achieve anything to now be worthy of deserving love, that anything that you want to do And anything that you do for your own self-improvement and own self-betterment is totally to support you and to support the body that you've been given and to support being the best version of you that you can in the world and to doing God's work in the world.
world, all of that will just naturally. But it has to start with fully starting with receiving and accepting and believing that you are worth that much love. And not only worth it, you don't have to do anything to receive it and to be given it. You just have to open up to have it. And that it is the highest, most crazy level of love and unconditional acceptance that you've ever experienced. So trying to even perceive what that is, let that amount of love wash over you wash over you and change you, literally transform you, because that is what God's love does. It's transformative. It's not a band-aid. It's not something to make you feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. It's at the level of transformation in your life. Are you allowing it? Are you receiving it? Are you allowing yourself to have it with doing nothing to have deserved it? That's how much you're loved. Let that wash over you. Let that change you and transform you and heal you and fill up the broken spaces and the broken cracks and the things that have happened that have damaged you. Allow God's love to come in and to heal those things and to literally change you. It will change every motivation you ever have. It will change all of the thoughts that you have, how you perceive yourself, how you perceive others. It will allow you to then realize that God doesn't just love you this much. He loves every other single person that you've ever met and have ever heard of and will ever meet. Can you even grasp that? And if that's the case, how much then do you now want to love and accept other people around you? Because God loves them at the same intensity and desire that he loves you every moment. Let that wash in. I hope that this helped you today. It was a passionate message I felt needs to be shared. And I say it for myself as well. But allow yourself to be transformed by the one and only power on the entire universe that can love you that much. And, and you can receive it right now. Have a wonderful day, ladies.